So today in this video, we shall learn to find the GCF of HCF of 27 and 45. And here we shall find out GCF of HCF by two methods. First one by to find factorization method and second one by division method. So let's find out GCF of HCF of 27 and 45 by to find factorization method. So while finding out GCF of HCF, prime factorization method first of all you have to find out the prime factors of given numbers so here numbers are 27 and 45 so let's find out the prime factors of 27 so it is 3 times 9 means 27 like as 3 times 3 means 9 and 3 times 1 means 3 so as you look here we have find out the prime factors of 27 in the same way, we can find out the prime factors of 45. So it is 3 times 15 means 45, like as 3 times 5 means 15, and 5 times 1 means 5. So as you look here, we have found out the prime factors of 27 and 45. So from these prime factors, we can write 27 is equal to, from here it is, 3 times 3 times 3. In the same way, we can write 45 is equal to, from here it is 3 times 3 times 5. So, we have find out or taken out the prime factors of 27 and 45. So, now we find out the common factors in these prime factors. So, here is 3 and here is also 3. So, 3 is a first common factor like as there is also 3 and there is also 3. So again 3 is a common factor and at last we have 3 and 5 which is non-common factor. And as you know we are finding out here GCF of HCF. So GCF of HCF is the product of all common factors only. So we have common factors are 3 and 3. So now we have to find out the product of these common factors. So it is 3 times 3 means it is equal to 9. So 9 is the product of these common factors. Therefore, 9 is the GCF of HCF of 27 and 45. So in this way we can find out GCF by prime factorization method. So now our second method is by division method. So let's find out GCF of HCF of 27 and 45 by division method. So while finding out GCF of HCF by division method, you have to divide the greater number which is 45 with the lesser number which is 27. So 27 times 1 means it is 27. So 45 minus 27 means it is 18. So here 18 comes at the remainder means we have to again divide the 27 divisor with 18. So 18 divides 20, 27. So it is 18 times 1 means it is 18. So again we have remainder 9. Means again we have to divide the divisor 18 with 9. So 9 times 2 means 18. So here at last we have no remainder so the divisor 9 is taking here no remainder so while finding out GCF of HCF by division method first of all you have to divide the greater number with the lesser number so while dividing we get 18 as remainder and while finding out GCF of HCF by division method you have to keep dividing the divisor with remainder until there is no remainder at last. So while dividing we get 18 as remainder. Means that we have to again divide the divisor 27 with 18. So while dividing again we get 9 as remainder. Means that again we have to divide the divisor 18 with 9. So it is 9 times 2 means 18. So at last we got here no remainder. So 9 took no remainder at last so it becomes the GCF of HCF. 
So therefore we can write GCF of HCF is equal to 9. So in this way we can find out GCF of HCF by division method. So this much for today and if you have any question for math then just comment your question in a comment below and we shall provide a video solution of your question. So thank you.